So guys, I had a flat tire, and when I took it to the shop to get it fixed, I found myself right next door to an IHOP. I'm hungry. Let's go do a full breakfast review. And I'm all about that chicken fried steak, all right? So as I get into IHOP, it's kind of a nice, warm, welcoming feel. First thing I do is order that cup of coffee, and it is as cheap as can be. There is like literally no flavor, and that's my favorite kind of coffee. I'm like the best part of waking up, is you know that Folgers in your cup. So I get it goes down well it's exactly what i wanted now it's time to look at the menu and as i first open up the their specialty menu it's this willy wonka menu and i swear it's all candy sugary sweet looking stuff i'm like no let's pass let's get the real menu and as i do i find my golden ticket there it is the country fried steak and eggs basic you know your steak your eggs your hash browns and it comes with pancakes of course i order a side of toast and there's that and the breakfast doesn't look bad of course, I go in to touch the eggs. They're perfect. I like them over medium, and that looks like a perfect over medium. There's the pancakes. I got that strawberry syrup on the side, too. So let's just get right into this thing. It actually looks pretty good. So it's loaded with gravy. It's a big steak. First thing I need is my silverware. Now I'm going to open that up, and I take that napkin, and I put the napkin in my lap. Am I the only one that does this? Is that like old school tradition? I'm not sure people even put their napkin in their lap anymore that's how i roll so anyways i'm all prepared it makes me feel like i'm ready now let's start eating go in for a bite of that steak and i'm cutting it it's super crunchy i can hear the crunch i can hear the crisp i can see it so i take a bite I'm excited to get into it lots and lots of gravy on there but it tastes like it comes out of a can and i'm sure i'm not far from the truth as for the steak it tastes frozen. I mean, literally, it tastes like a TV dinner type of steak. It even has the texture of a TV dinner, if you can understand that. Now, as for the hash browns, they look nice and crispy on top, but they're actually really dry. They got this like really loose feel to them. I'm good, thank you. Uh, probably about the cheapest potato you could probably get. Um, they're all right. I mean, hey, I'm at IHOP. I wasn't expecting the best. And I'll be honest with you, I'm okay with eating a cheap breakfast. Where IHOP sort of fails a little bit in flavor, I think they make it up in size. They do give you a lot of food. This is a pretty good sized steak. I know I'm gonna finish the whole thing, I usually do. Now as for the toast, it's the perfect cook. Just the nice golden brown that I like. And my eggs as I dip into that yolk actually are perfect. Eggs and toast are one of my favorite things for breakfast, and this is probably the best part of the meal on this plate. It actually tastes fresh. The toast is fresh, nice sourdough. The eggs are cooked perfect. Those obviously are fresh. Everything else is definitely frozen. It comes out of a can, maybe even, you know, it, it all comes from a commissary. So I'll do my best to kind of doctor it up a little bit. And I'm going to grab my Tabasco. I am a fan of that on my potatoes. Sometimes I'll throw it on the steak and my eggs too. So it's still a real dry potato, but at least adding the Tabasco, it adds a little bit of extra flavor in there. You can see these potatoes just falling apart, just the shreds. There's like no body to them. Get back in for some more eggs because I really enjoy that part of the breakfast. So now it's time for a little sweet relief and I'm gonna go in for the pancakes. And as I pull them over, guys, I'm using both syrups today. I'm gonna do the maple and the strawberry that they brought me. Now, the funny thing is they make these pancakes the same diameter as the plate that they serve them on. So as I pour this syrup on, Obviously, it's clear to me before I even pour it, I already know it's going to pour right down the side, right over the edge, and right onto the table. And I was like, okay, well, we're just going to have a messy table. I'm not even going to worry about it. And I grab my fork, and I go to take a bite, and guess what? They're totally rubbery, and it wouldn't even cut. I mean, I can't cut a pancake with a fork. I need to get my knife out. That's the first sign that this may not be the best pancakes. And I get in there, and I can see clearly... That maple syrup is terrible. I bet people use the heck out of their maple syrup. So because of that, they have to buy just the cheapest kind. It's probably loaded with corn syrup. I'm sure the strawberry is too, but I'm gonna go in and try that strawberry now. And as I taste that, I realize, you know, it's a little bit sugary, but it actually has really good fresh strawberry taste. I was impressed with it. So guys, I'm at the International House of Pancakes. You know, it's IHOP, the pancake, it's their namesake. 
and it's actually probably the worst part of the meal. I mean, really, these pancakes are rubbery. I need a knife to cut them. What kind of pancake needs a knife to cut it? Come on, guys. I mean, you're IHOP. You should have at least one thing rocking, and that's your pancakes. But like I said, I like a cheap breakfast, and just like the steak and eggs, I'm probably going to finish the pancakes too. And I'll go back and forth. I use the cheap maple syrup, and I'll probably use a little bit more of that strawberry. I mean, at least it tastes like strawberries. So back to the steak. I'm going to just work my way through it. Really enjoying this. I came out from work the other night. My truck had a flat tire, so I brought it next door to Tires Plus, and they're fixing it up for me right now. Hopefully uh, they can do that and I don't have to buy a whole new set of tires. We'll see. So anyways, to sum it up, the steak tastes like it came out of a frozen package. The gravy was definitely from a can. The potatoes are loose and definitely lacking seasoning. But I said I'd eat it all and that's exactly what I did. I'm going 6 out of 10 on this breakfast, guys. Thanks for watching. What a treat. Cheers, everyone.